Okay. Okay. So now currently we are looking at the Republic of Gamers ROG XG Station 2. So the thing uh, special about this is actually it's an external enclosure for your graphics card. So this system actually gives out to additional 680 watts of power, so power to your uh, graphics card. So it supports both your NVIDIA cards as well as your AMD cards. That's something really special about this. But currently at this point of time, it only supports the ASUS computers via a Lightning Tree um, interface. This is, this is the Intel Lightning Tree interface. The, 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 th the additional thing about this device is that it also acts as a um, USB hub. So at the back, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it brings you additional USB 3.0 ports as well as the RJ45. So if let's say if you are giving a, a for example, a new ASUS Transformer 3 port that was announced earlier today, it has very all the slim features and all the um, Core i7 processor and all the powerful stuff in it. But you want to, but, but you still want a game. So the thing is that you can just connect it simply to the enclosure. This is the ROG XG Station 2, and then you have the graphics capabilities to run. A, a great computer, a great gaming machine, as you can see over here. So this is actually a whole setup that is available. Um, okay, so so we are we are expecting about in the third quarter of 2016. So really, really soon, probably in the coming months. Um, that we can get the Transformer 3 with the XG Station 2 but only as you know XG Station 2 currently only supports the ASUS computer so of course we are still really really looking forward to what we have to this uh, in, in the coming months okay